Welcome to our channel. In this video, I am going to explain the movie, titled, Songbird, released in the year 2020. In a dystopian world of the year 2024, the world is still suffering from the coronavirus, which, after mutilation has transformed into a much deadlier form, known as COVID-23. People have been staying indoors for over four years. And despite this, the mortality rate has gotten up to 56%. Everyone is compelled to go through a daily virus test, conducted through an application online. One who fails, the sanitation department forcefully take them to the quarantine zone aka Q zone, never to return back. As per rumors, the whole country is going through a curfew and people are strictly forbidden from coming out. Anyone not complying is shot on sight. Then, the scene shifts to a delivery boy named Nico, who is driving around on a bicycle, delivering packages. Wearing a yellow wristband, he can roam freely. The wristband denotes that he is immune to the virus, though, he can still transfer it to others. Nico is working for a man named Lester, running a courier company, serving wealthy people. Then, we are introduced to a wealthy woman, Piper Griffin, living in a lavish house with her husband, William, and daughter, Emma. Like all the other kids affected by the lockdown, Emma is always alone. Thus, she desires to have a friend. But, Piper refuses her request, stating that it is not safe for her, as she is suffering from an autoimmune disorder. Afterwards, both the mother and daughter take the virus test and pass it. In the meantime, Nico arrives at their door for some delivery. He passes the packages through a UV sanitation machine and in turn Piper gives him a generous tip. Then, Nico returns home and talks to his girlfriend, Sarah, who lives with her grandmother, Lita, in her apartment. Nico and Sarah have not met each other in person, because Sarah is forced to stay indoors due to curfew on one hand, and is bound to take care of her grandmother on the other. At this point, we also get to know that Nico is saving money to buy a yellow immunity wristband illegally for Sarah, and get out of the city to live a life of their own. Though buying such bands illegally is punishable, but Nico is willing to risk it all for the love of his life. In the next scene, we see a famous female singer, May, doing a live session. While she is taking song requests from her fans, a disabled war veteran, Michael Dozer, who also happens to work for Lester as a drone operator, tips her $100 and messages her mentioning that her songs helped him during his time in the war. Touched May sings some motivational song for him. After the session, May calls Dozer and inquiries about his war experiences. Dozer explains everything in detail, and before the conversation ends, the two develop a special bond between them. Elsewhere, Nico visits Sarah's apartment to deliver her a packet of pencils as she enjoys to sketch. He also gives her a letter, containing a funny poem for her. The same night, while Sarah and Nico are video chatting, Lita approaches Sarah to inform her that she is not feeling well. Naturally, Sarah becomes scared. Nico assures her that he will be arriving there soon. In the meanwhile, sanitation department knocks at her door. Outside, the head of the sanitation department, Harland, finds a man who has escaped from the Q-Zone, and stabs him to death. As Sarah prepares for the worst, Harland approaches his staff outside the door telling them that they have come to the wrong house. Thereafter, they approach a nearby apartment and forcefully drag a patient out to the Q-Zone. Meanwhile, Nico takes out his motorbike and rushes to Sarah's apartment. While there, he consoles Sarah, and assures her that everything will be fine. However, she requests him to go back, as if they are caught, they might get into trouble. But Nico insists on staying outside the door. She finally agrees, and the two spend the whole night talking about their special moments they plan for the future. Elsewhere, Piper's husband, William, is preparing to leave the house, late at night. But to his surprise, as he approaches the door, his wife confronts him, asking him where he is going. William says that he has a meeting. Though skeptical, Piper lets him leave, telling him to burn his clothes outside the house, on his return. In the next scene, William arrives at May's residence, and the two have some fun together. Then, William returns to his home and is urged by his wife, burns his clothes before entering the house. The next morning, while Nico is still sleeping at her doorstep, Sarah goes to Lita for their regular virus checkup. Sarah comes out clean, free of virus. But sadly, on Lita's scan, the application detects virus and suggests Lita be taken to the Q-Zone. As Nico gets to know, he tries to persuade Sarah to escape with him. However, Sarah refuses, telling him that she cannot leave Lita in this condition and asks him to go. She also tells him that this might be their last meeting, as the sanitation forces can arrive anytime. Hearing all this, Nico gets devastated, but doesn't give up. Before leaving, he tells Sarah that, anyhow, he will get immunity passes for them. Afterwards, Nico calls Lester and asks him if he can provide two immunity passes for Sarah and her grandmother. 
Lester tells him that he does not have any passes, however, he knows someone who can arrange. Lester tells Miko about the Griffin family, that they are the immunity pass dealers in the city. In the next scene, Miko arrives at Griffin residence and asks William about the passes. The Griffins get shocked, as they wonder how an ordinary person knows about their secret. They tell Miko that they don't deal in such illicit things, but the latter keeps insisting. Eventually, Piper tells him that she has run out of the bands, but she knows someone having plenty. She gives him an address, telling him to reach there. In the next scene, Nico arrives at the given address to meet the dealer. While roaming around in the abandoned building, he is greeted by Harland, disguised as an immunity wristband contractor. In their conversation, he tries to extract information about the girl for whom Nico wants the immunity wristband. On Harland's continuous insistence for the girl's personal information, Nico gets suspicious, thus, he refuses to provide more information. On this, enraged Harland stabs Nico with a pocket knife, but the latter hits him back and manages to escape. On the other side, as Sarah goes to check on Lita, she finds her dead. Devastated, she immediately calls Nico and tells him about the situation. Nico hurriedly dresses his wounds, meanwhile, suggesting Sarah to hide somewhere when the sanitation crew arrive to take Lita's body. Elsewhere, May is seen telling Dozer everything about Griffin including his illegal immunity band business. She also tells him that Griffin is using her to fulfill his desires and that she can no longer tolerate him. Dozer suggests her to be bold enough to confront Griffin rather than being suppressed by him. Meanwhile, May gets a message from William that he wants to meet her again at night, but May declines his request telling him that everything between them was over. On this, William becomes mad and he immediately calls May. He berates her for being an immoral woman. May counters him by blackmailing, that if he doesn't stop calling her, she will spill the beans about his illicit business, and hangs up leaving William stressed and worried. Adding to his woes, Piper heard the entire conversation between the duo. Thus, as William comes out of the room, she confronts him, pointing a gun at him, and tells him that she already knew about his affair. To keep their daughter safe, Piper kicks him out of the house. Soon as William leaves, Piper calls May and warn her about William coming at her place to attack her. Frightened, May instantly calls Dozer and asks him if she can come over to his place and stay. Dozer promptly agrees to help her and asks her to come to his house. In the meantime, sanitation department at Sarah's apartment. As the staff starts searching for Sarah, she picks up a baseball bat and hides in the bathroom. Harland, who is also with the group, continuously asks her to reveal herself. Just then, Sarah hits one of the staff and knocks him unconscious. She then wears his hazmat suit and walks out of the building. In the next scene, enraged Nico breaks into the Griffin residence and starts searching for the immunity bracelets. Lester gets shocked to see Nico's current location via his GPS. Thus, he calls Piper and informs her about the situation. Panicked, Piper hides her daughter, Emma, in the bathroom and gets ready to face Nico with a gun. As Nico appears, armed Piper threatens him to leave. However, Nico tells her that he is there only to find help for his love, not to harm them. On this, Piper puts her gun down and takes out a briefcase, containing immunity wristbands. She then opens her laptop, programs a bracelet, and it over to Nico. With mission finally achieved, Nico thanks Piper and rushes out to meet Sarah. Elsewhere, May is packing her belongings to leave before William arrives. Meanwhile, Dozer also takes out his military drone and flies it towards May's place. After putting her belongings inside her car, as May tries to start it, it fails to start. In the meantime, William arrives, and threatens her to get out of the car. But she does not comply, thus, he breaks the car door and grabs her by her neck. But fortunately, Dozer manages to locate them in time, and shoots William dead with the drone and saves May. Thanks to Dozer's sharpshooting experience. Elsewhere, Sarah, who tried to escape in the hazmat suit, is captured by Harland and his team. Although she has no symptoms of the virus, they force her to the Q-Zone. A while later, Nico arrives at Sarah's apartment. But surprisingly, instead of Sarah, he is confronted by Harland, waiting for his arrival. Harland tries to attack Nico again with his same pocket knife, but this time, mindful Nico picks up Sarah's sketch pencil and stabs him in his neck. Harland dies there because of losing a lot of blood. While leaving the house, Nico notices Sarah's mobile phone and finds a picture of the sanitation department vehicle, transporting Sarah to the Q-Zone. He immediately calls Lester and asks him to locate the vehicle, who further calls Dozer and urges him to find the vehicle. With Lester and Dozer connected to him on his mobile phone, Nico drives his bike around the place. A while later, Dozer spots the sanitation vehicle and immediately informs Nico about its location. 
Desperate Nico speeds up to the place and manages to arrive there before Sarah is taken inside the Q zone. Though, the police try to stop Nico, but somehow he manages to reach near Sarah and covertly hand her the immunity bracelet. Afterwards, the officers apprehend Nico, but as they notice the yellow armbands on the duo, they decide to scan them. In a thorough checkup, both Nico and Sarah are found to be immune, thus both are released. In the next scene, the couple finally embrace each other for the first time in their lives. Only then, Sarah reveals that like him, she is also immune, and that the only reason she didn't get out of her house was her fear for her grandmother's life. Though Nico is surprised, but he realizes her situation and forgives her. In the last scene, Piper and May team up to frame William and Harland for illegal wristband sales. Dozer and May are seen dating virtually, while Nico and Sarah are traveling up the Pacific Coast Highway. While Lester receives an immunity bracelet as a gift, sent to him by Nico, for helping him out in the hardest times. That's all from the movie. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and share with friends. Also hit the subscribe button for more interesting content. See you next time with a new movie. Take care. Are you all my personal